Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to yet another stream. This is the Count of Monte Fisto, and it's been a long day. I had to take my dog to the vet, which was uh, stressful for her as well. She's sleeping. <laughs> She's fucking like out like a rock. Uh, that shit was expensive, by the way. Oh my god. You forget how much they just bend you over at the fucking vet. Uh, I've been delaying on that shit long enough, so she was kind of overdue for a bunch of shots anyway, so... It is what it is. Anyway, that's why it's a pretty late stream. I just needed time to chill. Anyway, got my beer here. Got my uh, retro pie. I'll play some Fantasy Zone. Um, I don't know too much about the series other than it's um, one of the first, uh, and I guess, like, cutesy shoot 'em up. Yeah, I really call it a space shooter, but some people really like to use the term shmups. Anyway, let's try this shit out. Let's see what this series is all about. Um, one of the reasons I'm playing this one is because for the Sega Genesis Mini, they have Super Fantasy Zone, and I kind of want to play the earlier entries in the series first and foremost before jumping right into the uh, later entries in the series. I'm not really sure if anything came out after that one, but anyway, right now we're listening to, uh, what? What's this guy's name? Kid? Jesper Kid. Jesper Kid's Batman and Robin for the Genesis. Pretty sick OST, honestly. Anyway, let's uh, dive into this shit. There we go. And I think we're good to go. Let me just uh, connect the controller, huh? There we go. Once again, I'll be using the wireless 2.4 gigahertz uh, controller that I got specifically for the Mega SG. Which, go figure, you could actually play this on the Mega SG, but you would need a either the Master System game cartridge itself or a uh, flash card for Master System games. But honestly, I don't think Master System is that good to get that as well. Although, if you, you know, had a Master System growing up, might as well go for it. Anyway, let's uh, let's try this shit out, see what this is all about. I wonder if there's an options mode. Or not, fuck it. <laughs> You know, even early Genesis games, you'd have to do, like, some sort of crazy-ass... Alright, just die immediately. Right, well, uh, we'll get used to this shit. You, um... Kind of move like it's one of those old-ass Atari games, you know what I'm talking about? Like, the early-ass Star Wars Atari games. I had, like, an Atari collection growing up for, um, PlayStation. I feel like if it wasn't for that one, I would not have any experience with the console at all, though I think growing up, right, for the PC early on we had, um, oh god, this is fucking rough, huh? For the PC growing up, I think we had, like, a version of Kaboom on that shit. Alright, so we're gonna have to really play kind of defensively here. Um, so I really don't know much about this. I know that it, uh, loops and connects. You try to find hidden-ass shops to buy upgrades, but even then your upgrades don't last forever. Like, I, I have some knowledge about what this series is all about. Mostly from watching... Oh my god, they really home in on your ass. Mostly from watching GameSack. Which, if you never watched GameSack on YouTube, it's a pretty sick uh, YouTube show, honestly. I really enjoy it. Anyway, for this stream, I figured we'd play a little bit of Fantasy Zone 1 and 2. Uh, they seem like pretty simple arcade-style games, so I didn't think either one would really uh, take too long. Alright, so these guys kind of like loop in on your ass. You really would just want to take these guys out sooner than later. Alright, let's see here. Also, you might want to prioritize taking these fuckers out before even collecting the coins. There we are. So we found our first shop. And here's... Oh my god, look at that fucking thing. I don't think these upgrades really last forever either, from what I understand. What should we go for here? Alright, so that's my score to the 5600, so we only have 2400. So we can buy a couple of these, huh? Oh shit, it goes on further. Oh god, um... We can buy an extra ship, that's pretty nice. Let's, uh, let's start with Big Wings. Um... Oh, 
okay, so these are like speed upgrades, I guess. Then we have weapons upgrades and then bomb upgrades. Okay, then we can probably just do the basic shit, huh? Uh, yeah, okay. Let's fucking... Oh, and then we can hold, um, hold the other button to blast some shit. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Okay. So we are a lot stronger now. And then we wasted. <laughs> Fucking good. So this is one of those levels, or uh, one of those games, kind of like Darius, where you kind of want to hold both buttons. Just continue to do that shit. Okay, I gotcha. Anyway, so the, uh, the beer I have with me today is Mad Elf by Troix, which is a pretty fucking good brewery from PA. Really solid. Um, Mad Elf is their Christmas brew. Alright, shit. Alright. Oh god. Ah, shit, shit. I should've stayed where I was. Fuck. Alright, well, I guess, uh... Now we kind of know what we're doing, though. We got to the boss, though, at least. So, what is Fantasy Zone? Fantasy Zone is a first-party Sega game that tries the treadmill-style... Oh, God, the fucking hitboxes. Tries the treadmill-style approach of, you know, you go far to the right, you circle around to the left. You grind cash, find a shop, upgrade your shit. And I guess it was originally an arcade game, I would think. Because Sega was always very much into arcade games, you know? There we are. Alright, so we're gonna try that same shit that we did before. So, big wings. Laser beam. And the firebomb. Wait, why is that firebomb plus one? What does that mean? Do I have a limited amount? Fuck. That kind of sucks, if there really is a limited amount. Alright, let's dive into this shit. Oh shit, whoa, damn, fucking give me a break, bro. Almost lost that shit immediately, huh? Oh, you see that shit? It's, uh, so it drops down as you- No, no, it just counts down, period. You have a very limited time to really make use of this shit. Okay. Huh. Kinda sucks then, huh? Oh shit, it bounces back? Shit! Ah, oh, goddamn. You don't really have a whole lot of, uh. ability to maneuver. Alright, well, we can try again. Oh, okay, so we have to hit directly in the mouth anyway. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, so you kind of want to play like this. Shit. <laughs> you want to play like this. Just fucking die immediately. Alright, well, we'll, uh, we'll get this whole thing. Take a sip of my beer here. Mm. Alright. So let's do this shit. Oh, God. You want to play very defensively, very carefully. You almost want to save your good weapons for the boss if you, oh god, if you can help it. But yeah, I've been um, really wanting to play more Master System, honestly, since A, there's a couple of games I do want to fuck around with before playing the equivalent of the sequels for the Genesis Mini. But also, honestly, it's just all around 
not a bad... Not a bad system, honestly. I've been really pleasantly surprised so far. Yeah, I think we're good with that. Alright, so let's, uh, Oh shit, look how fast we move! That's almost too fast! Alright, so you really just want a normal laser, because I think that's, like, too fast to even control. There we are. Alright, so now we should be close to fighting the boss again. Oh my god! Pretty fucking weak, huh? Alright, so now let's try our best to keep our distance, huh? Yeah, once again, your hitbox is kind of like a legit box for this one. I mean, you know, what would you expect in an 8-bit game? But honestly, it's kind of impressive that the Master System was even able to handle this shit, you know? Because the NES certainly was not able to handle jack and shit in terms of shoot 'em ups. There was one game for the. for the NES. Ah, I forget what it was called, though. You could, like, transform your system. Oh, God. Transform your ship into. Oh, God. Like, three different forms, some shit like that. Alright, dude. Oh, am I supposed to, like, drop bombs in it? Maybe. Or maybe not, I'm not sure. Well, let's, uh, get some power-ups, huh? So what do we want here? Probably that seven-way shot sounds pretty fucking dirty. <laughs> Shit, we might want to get an extra ship, honestly. Oh god, that fucking price goes up. Damn. Alright, we'll get a wide beam. And then we'll get some twin bombs. Alright. Oh god. Fucking wonky ass motherfucker. Alright, well we took out quite a few. An interesting game once you start to get the hang of it, but overall I think the most impressive game I've played so far on the Master System is the R-Type for the Master System. Although, a lot of flicker. Maybe is a little bit too ambitious. And then, so far what I've played of Wonder Boy and uh, Monster Land, whatever the fuck, which one it was? Monster Land 3? Monster World 3. The naming convention still baffles me. That was actually a pretty sick game so far. Alright. I wonder if I'm doing this right. I, I really don't know. I'm not really sure. Um, looks like it kind of goes through here and there. Right? Kind of? I, I have no idea. I don't want to move in too much, but it seems like I'm not really doing too much damage right now. Well, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Um... I think there's only one I'm supposed to hit? Nah, nah, there's like, uh, some area I'm... Okay, shit. There's some area I'm, I'm able to hit and shoot through the opening, but there's not really a whole lot of uh, wiggle room there. And then when he starts to move forward, that's when you want to start to move back. Shit! Ah, oh, God. That's actually tricky. 
Alright, let's keep it up. I figure we'll spend maybe 40 minutes on each. Until we uh, figure this shit out. going. So what do we want here? Seven way shot, wide beam. Probably go the wide beam, honestly. And the firebomb. Yeah, I don't really mind having the slower speed. It's kind of like with Gradius, right? Where the higher speed ends up getting you killed more than anything else. Oh god. Trying to kill this shit a little faster. There we go. Oh, shit. Oh, come on, dude. Holy shit. Give me a little bit more room to react, bro. Yeah, it's like sometimes it scrolls like this where you have plenty of room to think. Other times you kind of gotta wiggle a little bit in order to get some leeway. Alright. We got that shit down. Right. And we can go right into this fucking shop. Alright, so we're definitely gonna wanna pick up an extra life. Jesus Christ. That's <laughs> so fucking much. Um, seven way shot sounds awesome. Then we'll get our asses. Uh, I'll say the heavy bomb sounds pretty cool. Alright, let's try out the smart bomb. I'm not sure if we tried that yet. We have enough for big wings. Be a jet engine. Hopefully, we're not too fast, though. Yeah, dude, it really. Oh my god, and then you just die from the uh, screen scroll. I feel like that's what's killing me the most. Yeah, you kinda gotta really work it a little bit. Take it slowly. I mean there's it's not like there's a time limit or anything. Still I'd really appreciate <laughs> a little bit of wiggle room with this fucking screen, dude. But yeah, I didn't want to do a full stream of Fancy Star 2. When I'm this fucking tired, holy shit. And Neo dodging the shit. Alright, come on. There we are. I'm not sure if I need the bombs for those guys, but it seems the most logical. They seem to tank a hell of a lot of damage. Anyone else? Are we good? Are we good? Yeah, we're good. Okay. Now we can try again with this shit. Damn, that's like really fucking annoying how, uh, how exact you gotta get. It's like some Death Star trench run shit. And then, even maneuvering is pretty difficult. I guess just go for the biggest opening. I don't have to be so far back, you know? Focus more on dodging the projectiles coming down than I am trying to get these fuckers. But anyway, we had a Discord day where I was streaming some riff tracks. People showed up pretty chill. Pretty chill time. If you're into riff tracks or if you're into... Oh god, come on. 
If you're into rip tracks or if you're into MXC, we've been doing MXC streaming on Monday, so it's pretty chill. Make sure you're stopping for that. If you're not a member of the Discord, just join. Just join up with that shit. Link, if you're watching this in the future on YouTube, should be right in the description. Uh, same thing with the Twitch. If you ever want to watch live, I stream exclusively on Twitch. Because they, they actually pay money. As opposed to YouTube, which I don't even know what they do. What the fuck? Holy shit, really? Oh my god! It's because I took too long? That seems kind of horseshit. Oh my goodness. Alright, well, this will keep trying. Anyway, I was looking at the front page of Twitch, as I do sometimes, because before rating, if there's no one... Uh, no, not my homies on, I'll usually look to the recommended channels, or just search by game. Until I find something, you know? But sometimes you have to, like, go to the main page of Twitch in order to tell the recommended section which streams you want to fuck off from your recommended section list. It's kind of obnoxious, honestly. Oh god, we are right in the way of an enemy when we get out of here. Oh, that sucks. But anyway, so a lot of these streamers will have, like, all these really woke-ass tags that I'd rather just avoid entirely. It's just crazy. It's like, you know, LGBT plus, you know, trans, he, her, and all this shit. And I'm just like, why, why would I give a fuck about that? Just what game are you playing? That's really all I give a shit about. And it's just crazy that other people seem to actually give a shit about that. So let's go to the main page on Twitch and just get those recommendations the fuck out. Like, dude... <laughs> I don't give a shit about what's in your pants, bro. I just want to know, like, A, are you entertaining? B, are you streaming a game I like? That's really about it. I mean, teach his own, but shit. I guess there's an audience for everything. Alright, are we good? Ah, okay, we're good. We're good. Alright, so we just gotta play it a little bit more conservatively here. And... Just be careful. We can buy more one-ups, but it doesn't really matter if we're losing more than we're buying. Fucking weird boss, by the way. You know, in uh, that one Mickey Mouse game for the Genesis, it was the same shit where you just had a log to fight. Oh god. I'm not really understanding the <laughs> how dare you have blind as a tag. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Wait, what's up, Never Trust Cheese? It's fucking funny. <laughs> I'll read the rest of your comments in a bit. <laughs> it's like a legit blind playthrough. Or some shit. It's like, uh, what's that character in Mortal Kombat, Kenshi? Oh, fuck. Oh, god, I just got juked there. Think of what the blind people think <laughs> once they read on their braille monitors. Shit, you joke, but I feel like there probably is some shit like that that exists. Oh god. Yeah, sometimes we just get unlucky with some of this shit. Anyway, how are you doing today, dude? You ever play this fucking game? Or any of the fantasy, uh, fantasy star, fantasy zone, there we are. Fantasy star, fantasy zone. Sega sure love to throw fancy in their titles, I swear. Anyway, yeah, I have a Super Fantasy Zone on the Genesis Mini, so I figured I'd play the first two games before hopping into that game. I don't know when that would be, but, eh, probably, like, by December, you know? There's a whole bunch of shit I'm trying to stream right now. Never even heard of this game. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a Sega first party game, but, I don't know, it's kind of weird. I guess they're kind of like Nintendo in that way, where Nintendo has a million IPs, but they just don't make sequels to most of them. Okay, so you have you have time to be the shit, and then they just suicide you. Wow, that fucking sucks, dude. But, uh, Sega was even more insane than Nintendo, whereas Nintendo would make a new IP every, you know, like every year or two. Sega would make, like, 40. And now all they do is make shitty Sonic games, mostly. I mean, I guess they make the Yakuza games, yeah? Which, uh, speaking of which, that is on my list to eventually stream. 
But um, I, from my understanding, the Yakuza games are the spiritual successor to the Shenmue games, you know? But I, I've never played a Shenmue game, although people... It, that seems to be a really divisive game series, Shenmue. People either absolutely hate it or think it's, like, the most genius shit. Uh, Amir Shar says, we blindfold can experience things too, you know? Like I have experienced walking into that table many a times. What's up, Mary Sharks? How you doing today, bro? Hopefully you're doing well. Um, shit, let's get the wide beam. Man, we're not doing too hot right now, shit. Uh... Not the firebomb, fuck it. And do we have the big wings? There we are. Here. I don't know, this game's actually shockingly tricky, I find. Oh, God! <laughs> like that, I don't know, you, um... God, I feel like you don't even want the wing upgrades. Especially when you have, uh, you know, you're so close to the edge of the screen. Because the... speed and the screen seem to really fuck you in the ass. Um, anyway, what else did I check out today? Oh, I checked out the, uh, what's it called, like, the pixel remasters of the Final Fantasy games, right? Square is re-re-re-releasing, I guess re-re-re-re-releasing the Final Fantasy games, like, yet again. And this time, instead of using the, like, really, really hideous Mac OS sprites, they're actually, um, you know, giving it a bit of a better upgrade, actually putting effort into it. But when they did that shit, right, they actually made it so that fights are just, like, instantly over. Oh, God. So, like, you're walking on the world map, right? Like, they made it easier. You're walking on the world map, and then you get in a battle, and then immediately the battle is resolved, and you just keep walking on the world map. Which is just crazy, because, like, one of the complaints about, oh god, Final Fantasy IV when it came to stateside is they really dumbed it down and made it so easy. And now they're making it even more easy. Which is weird, because Final Fantasy has always been a series that's, uh, fairly fucking easy, you know? You don't need a whole lot of grinding in Final Fantasy. Oh my god. Yeah, just the camera, kind of the way the camera moves, is really fucking me up. Whoa, bro. I don't know, I just, like, don't understand the point of even playing a JRPG, or just a regular RPG, if... I don't know. If, if all you give a fuck about is the story, just watch a Let's Play, man. Seriously. But, um, you know, I'll see people online talk about, like, oh yeah, I just like it for the story. I, I like just skipping over fucking everything. Oh god, I just completely fucked that story. <laughs> Alright, well shit, more money next time I go to the store, huh? We'll do this a long and tedious way, then. Uh, let's see. Oh, God. Yeah, I'll tell you what, a shoot 'em up is, um, pretty fucking hard to read chat. I'll give you that much. Not as bad as rhythm games. Rhythm games are absolutely impossible. Oh, God! Uh, let's see, Amir <laughs> Shard says, typically it is everything around the combat that is the issue with JRPGs. Yeah, but you can make it interesting, though, you know what I mean? Um, like, use your brain. And then it's less of like attack, 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 attack. Have some sort of uh, strategy to it without making it so long. Because you can go too far in the other direction of making it so strategic that you have to statistically plan around everything. And every fight takes like five minutes. You know, you don't want that, but there's a, uh, there's a nice middle ground. It's actually you had to kill these fuckers fast, too, you know? Man, you really gotta dodge that shit. Uh, random encounters, large empty dungeons with the random encounters, cryptic hints. Um, I don't know, there, there's some. There's some times where they make the uh, dungeons interesting. Usually, it's like you want it kind of linear, but with some branching paths that lead to good treasure. And... Yeah, there is something enjoyable into it, but... 
If it's not, like, someone's thing, it's not someone's thing, you know what I mean? Uh, well, the old JRPG are fast combat-wise, yeah. Oh my god, though. Look at this shit. This is, can I just kill this shit with my normal attack? Or do I need my bombs? I might actually need my bombs here. Yeah, I do need my bombs. Huh. Alright, so that wasn't just my imagination. Those actually need your bombs. Um, let's see, the Fantasy Star Encounters. Yeah, Fantasy Star Encounters is pretty quick. Corona Trigger. Well, Corona Trigger is like one of the best of the best, you know? Although, um, people's complaints about Final Fantasy IX is the battles take too long, but I don't think they really do. If they do take too long, you know, you can always go into... For that game, go into the configuration and just speed up the battles. But another thing that, um, that Final Fantasy in particular does so well, right, is make... Oh god, I did it fucking again, dude. See, when I'm playing this game, my thumb is firmly on the 1 and 2 buttons, because that's how you shoot and drop bombs, you know? But, uh, what? So, for Final Fantasy IX, for example, right, your rewards for battle are a lot, you know? You're... If you're killing certain enemy types, you increase the power of certain attacks. If you're sealing, you increase the powers permanently for the rest of the game, and you're also getting items. Um, you get the ability points in addition to money, and experience points for each battle. Um, it just adds up, you know? So it's really rewarding for each battle, because, you know, at the end you get a whole shit ton of rewards. So you're always, you feel like you're always getting progress for something. So I think that's kind of like a big part of it as well. Shit, come on. There we are. Oh shit, ah, I gotta get the money. Shabbat shalom, motherfucker. Oh god. See how, like, fast they come in? It's crazy. I feel like if you had a Master System growing up, it's like, yeah, you probably would have rather had an NES. But, ah, uh, there's, there's some good games here. This one, this one's so-so. Uh, let's see. Are you sure this game is switch safe? I'm seeing a lot of penis trees and a windmill of peace. Well, that's a beautiful thing about Japanese games, is you get a lot of peaceful windmills. Rem never forget who fears the samurai. There's a certain group of people who absolutely fear the samurai. Alright, so we got, we got an extra ship. So hopefully we'll be alright there. Um, fuck the wings. We are fast enough. <laughs> we are definitely fast enough. Um, how about the seven-way shot, and we'll get the firebomb. Oh wow, so that's exactly one firebomb. Holy shit. Um, that's fucking crazy. Yeah, I do wish some of the power-ups, you know, like, I get why they go away, is because they're really overpowered, but, um, maybe if I could keep them a little bit longer game, that'd be really nice. Once again, this is the first fan, uh, fantasy zone. Fantasy zone. Man, Sega needs a fucking thesaurus, dude. There's more words to use in your game title than fantasy. Fuck. Fuck, stop shooting the fucking thing. Dude, it's so narrow. This is such a, like, a bullshit boss, honestly. Dude, you had to be fucking perfect, dude. He's got, like, suicide into me. He's gonna allow Akbar in my ass. Shit! Ah, goddamn. 
Oh, what's up, Gaseous? <laughs> Gradius looks a bit different than I remember. A little bit. Still, at least Gradius, you can keep your fucking weapons. Here, it's like the second you buy it, it's gone. Speaking of which, I still need to play the Parodius series. Like, it's something I've known about forever, but I've never actually sat down and played one. Is it actually worth it, or is it just too close to Gradius to really be that much of a difference? Oh god, please, just go right the fuck in. Oh my god. Dude, this is such a... Dude, it's like sticking your dick in a Cheerio. Oh my god. Which I've done countless times. I know one of my rules is don't talk about politics, but how about that, uh... That very big trial happening right now. Is that, is that, uh, vague enough for you guys? Um, let's see. Most shooters of this generation are similar. Depends if you like that sort of game. Well, not R-Type. Dude, R-Type is fucking dirty if you actually go back to it. It's actually very impressive for its time. Oops. Had the nerve to try something different, you know? Oh, God, please, why? Ah, oh, dude, this boss is fucking horseshit, dude. It's like I had to focus so hard on trying to get my shots in between this thing. Please. <laughs> Please. Dude, it's this is so fucking narrow. You gotta be pixel perfect, bro. Oh my god. Yeah, we're gonna switch to the second one after I die inevitably here. He's gonna, he's gonna go full on jihadi on my ass in about a second. Come on. Please, no! Oh god, please. No! Ah! God. Um, let's see. Our type is for real men. Oh, that's a good game, dude. Um, let's see. The Char no, it wasn't Charlottesville. So oh, <laughs> I think it's your fucking. Yes, it's the R's robbery case. I'm picking up what you're putting down, bro. Sacked everything to happen at once. Right, right before Thanksgiving. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. Was. Nah, they did some uh, dirty shit last. No, last year was like election day, yeah? That's how they dirtied up uh, Thanksgiving for that shit. And we all we all know what happened last election cycle, right? Uh, let's see. Ever try Death Smiles? I've heard of Death Smiles. I haven't fucked with it yet, though. So the clay's attention is divided. By the time each trial is over, nobody cares. I got you, I got you. Wow, do you see how quick that demo is? I swear to God, I'm not even touching anything. <laughs> it's like, witness two milliseconds of one level you'll never get up to. One, two, three, four. There we are. Four, four seconds. That smile's a solid, great shit. I got gotcha. you. We're gonna switch to Fantasy Zone too, real quick. Let me just pet my dog real quick. She's had a, she's had a rough day. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, you should see her when she's full on anxiety and shit. <laughs> Even the vets are like, is this normal for her? I'm like, eh, kind of. Yes and no. Usually not this freaking out. Um, oh, also, if it, I don't know if you guys ever fuck with uh, Raspberry Pi, but if you guys ever do get a Raspberry Pi, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you some secrets, right? It's great for a lot of these games, but not PlayStation. Strong recommendation. Don't fuck around with PlayStation. Um, even though people say, like, oh, yeah, it uh, runs great on the Pi 4. Not really. But it, it seems like it plays pretty well. You get to a certain point where the system just simply runs out of RAM, I believe is what's going on, and you crash to main. So I've had a lot of streams where I've been doing PlayStation games, uh, Metal Gear Solid, Final Fantasy VIII, where, man, it's just, I just get in like these real shitty situations. Um, another, another good secret, right? When you quit, restart emulation station, then shut the fucking thing down. There we are. Now you guys are a pro of uh, RetroPie. That said, I do think for the price to... Like, obviously you can play all this shit on your computer, but I think it's really nice to be able to just play from your TV. Sometimes, you know what I mean? 
Uh, let's see. <laughs> never trust cheese. Will never afford to become a blaze coin shed. <laughs> you know what blows my mind, though, is people who legit make crypto a political thing, like a uh, like a partisan thing, I guess I should say. Yo, motherfucker, if if you don't want to get into crypto, that's cool. I'm I'm not gonna pressure anyone to get into crypto, but uh Don't just assume that crypto is retarded. Uh, at least look into it. At least like learn what exactly is going on with it. Oh nice, we even get music for this one? Sick. But I'm I'm a fan of crypto. I I've been called a uh, crypto bro on the Steam forums when uh I got some people butthurt in the Oh wow, this looks way better. I got some people butthurt in the World of Horror threads, and then they got so mad that they like went into my uh, Twitch and YouTube and just did some investigation. They're like, oh my god, this guy's a crypto bro. <laughs> I'm like, alright. <laughs> you fuck. Fucking crypto bros. Oh, you are a lot slower in this one. It might be for the best though. Oh, okay, and money goes right to me. Oh, this music is fucking chaos. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, uh, let me get the money. The fuck is- I mean, the graphics are way better. Oh, uh, warp? Uh, is warp good or warp bad? I think I'm the same level, but it's a different location. Oh god, no. No, <laughs> please! I'm a- oh, am I a, uh, biz? <laughs> am I a biz? Uh, British cigarette? Nah, I mean, I've been to biz before, though, like, just to look at what people are talking about. It's interesting, um, but I mean, you'll find people equally bashing and praising everything, you know what I mean? So it's... But it's interesting to see what people are talking about, but I've only been to biz a couple times. Uh, if you're not crying <laughs> my environment, that means you're a crypto bro. That is also true. Oh my god, dude. Alright, so we're gonna have to figure some shit out here. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy, this this music. <laughs> this music is something crazy. You ever hear the term fever dream? It's one thing to to hear the term fever dream, but it's another thing to actually experience it, and this music kinda reminds me of it. Oh god. Am I good? Am I done? Oh, oh, are these different areas? Wait a minute. Oh shit, okay, so it's, it is different areas. Okay. I thought that though I was being warped a different area on the horizontal plane. Uh, now we have red. Okay, let me get this money, and then we'll warp to red. Wow, this is like fucking chaos. Holy shit. Alright, so that's the boss warp, I believe. <laughs> Fever dreams suck ass, 100%, dude. And you're like, sweating profusely and shit. Man. Um, okay, well, shit. I had to go back here eventually for some reason. Got it? Let me actually reach out for a second. Also, give me uh, give me out out of this for a second. I love how they whine about crypto being bad for the environment, but love their electric cards. Yeah, it's it's dumb. They, they they'll find a reason to whine about anything, you know. A fever dream sounds like my usual Friday. Money got to diamond fist GME. <laughs> Do the large intestines. Uh, you sweat a lot. See some shit. Wake up dehydrated. No, some of the, I remember. One of the worst times I've ever had a fucked up flu, man. I was working at a restaurant, right? And you know, you bust, you bust your co-workers' balls, right? So this was, when was this must have been? Like six years ago, seven years ago. Holy shit, time fucking flies. And we're busting on this one dude's balls because he was, you know, just working slow, and so he's like, and not really feeling that hot, but he, you know, kind of fucks up a lot anyway. But he was a nice enough guy. But then me and uh, this one other chick, me and this other chick, so two different chicks, yes, 
I am trans. This is an LGBTQ plus stream now. Um, we both contracted the shit simultaneously, and dude, it was it was nuts. Like it it just completely annihilated both of us, and I mean it also annihilated him to the point where, man, it was like legit non-stop shitting and then turning around to throw up into the fucking toilet. It's like, you know, there's an old episode of South Park where um, Stan's dad wrote the John Denver experience. It must have been like season one or season two. Like, really, really fucking balls old. And after getting off the ride, he's just like shitting in the trash can and then vomiting and then just doing that. That's what it felt like, dude. But for two or three days straight, man, like, I legit thought I was gonna die. Alright, so we're gonna take the wide beam. This time we actually do want speed. And I guess I guess we're good. I guess it's all we can take. <laughs> Countess Montepisto. Why yes. Well I mean shit, I'll add that uh, LGBTQ plus tag that I love so much and then tuck in my wiener. <laughs> um, let's see. Alright, so we're good. Let's uh try this shit out. Didn't do I already own that? Okay, so we're good. Alright, we are moving a little bit faster. Um, this is kind of like confusing, honestly, with the different warp points. Maybe they were color-coded. Ah, there we are. Alright, alright. Now we're fighting wood again. Oh god, holy shit. We are now playing a Toho game. And my powers are gone. Okay, shit. And we're dead. <laughs> Shit. Oh my god. The tears of Opa Opa is right, dude. Make me cry, daddy. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! All up. We gotta, like, adjust to the speed. Hysteria. Yo, I hope the Genesis game is better than these two, honestly. Um, because they made quite a few Fantasy Zone games. God. Alright. Um, should I just, like, go into these warps or just finish up one area? Yeah, let's finish up one area before we move to the next. Ever hear the Toho Rock Girl soundtracks? I've heard, um... I've heard Bad Apple. I mean, I feel like everyone's heard of Bad Apple at this point, but, I mean, that actually is a pretty kick-ass song and a pretty kick-ass video, honestly. The log boss fight is what- oh god, I'm gonna fucking die. <laughs> trying to reach that. Oh, alright, that's a nice sound. Are we good? Alright, let's uh, go to the right. Oh no! Damn these sounds. Alright, alright, okay, yeah! We're getting sweaty. This shit about to get heavy. What are your thoughts on Eminem, by the way? I liked his initial breakout song, and that was that was about it. The uh, the guess who's back, Shady's back song. I thought that was good. After that, he became the old man yelling at clouds, especially when he did that one video where it was Trump. Uh, where is this? him bitching about Trump with his homies in the background acting thug-like, and he's like, that's an awfully hot coffee pot. And it's like, wow, we got we got a wordsmith on our hands. Tell me more about your four-inch orange door hinge, bro. All right, what, what are we doing here? I, I have no idea. Uh, okay, um, damn this fucking... Eminem is a whiny bitch who needs to get over his ex. I'll tell you what, the, um, the all caps actually helps me when I'm, <laughs> when I'm, like, trying to glance really quick at chat. Um, let's see. Uh, I need, I need to read, uh, never, never trust cheese real quick. That last log fight, <laughs> oh my god, I can't even fucking speak. <laughs> that last log boss fight. Is what happens IRL. Hold up, I'll give this. If the my, yeah, okay, shit, I did. If the my environment nerds get a hold of you, that is. I see what you mean, man. 
Holy shit. Um... Stop shilling the soyga shit. Oh god! I was fucking reading! Stop shilling the soyga chat and become Nintendo chat. Oh, I've streamed a whole fuck ton of Nintendo, bro. Um, in fact, I've probably streamed... You know, honestly, I've probably streamed an equal amount of each, honestly. But I'd have to actually look into my numbers. Um... I'm, let's see. Marshall Mathers is the third... Marshall Mathers the third is Pussy, who got raped by the Velvet Mafia. <laughs> um, he made a music video with some bush disses two way back. The song was Mosh, yeah. No, I mean, I'm not, like, against rap entirely. I'm really not. It's just, um... I think people suck Eminem's cock more because he's white. And don't get me wrong, I think he's had a couple good tracks really early on, like 1999, 2000, you know? But, uh... Oof. Can't really say. Big fan of his other shit. Honestly, I've I've uh, talked about Wu Tang before. If you ever actually like listen to Thirty Six Chambers, is it Thirty Six Chambers or Thirty Eight Chambers? I always forget. It's actually a pretty fucking sick. Uh, some sick breakdowns in that one. And honestly, if you're, you know, if you're like a white nationalist and shit, you'd actually also appreciate um, some of the subject matter of Wu-Tang. Because <laughs> they, uh, they go pretty hard. Talking about killing some Nwas, as the more Windians would say. Oh god. Damn, I almost fucking died from that. God, this is a fucking chaotic ass game. Oh god, please. Dude, there's so fucking many. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna just try to get some help here. Oh we got posture check. Hold on. Alright. Oh boy. <laughs> oh god. So laser beam. I don't know if that's just on sale or what. We might just go with a wide beam. Let's just go with a wide beam. Oh, okay. Alright, so you can use them when you want. I guess that's the point, is if you want to conserve them, you can go for it. Oh god, it doesn't even, like, do a whole lot more damage, if any more damage. Please! Oh god, we're gonna run out of it in a second. Wow! <laughs> Dude, the power-ups suck! Oh my god! Yeah, this ain't, this ain't as good as... Um, uh, Monster Trap. Monster Trap is actually shockingly good. Once again, it's, uh... It's Shantae. It's 80s, it's 1980s Shantae. I mean, you can't really go wrong there. But, you know, people have also sucked Fantasy Star 1's dick, and I think that is a pretty good game for the most part, but the ending just... Oh, my God. The ending a few dungeons, as I've gone on record before, is uh, pretty rough. Oh, God, no. Oh, God, no! Oh, my God, what we want... There we are, okay. Oof. Oh my goodness. No, move faster, motherfucker. The dungeons in uh, Fantasy Star 1 are cancer. Yeah, I mean, I got used to them early on. And, you know, I, I'm pretty good at mapping, you know? You get, you get good at it, but... Dude, oh my god. Oh my god, what the fuck? But those last, like, two or three dungeons in Fantasy Star 1 are n next level, dude. If you're not using a guide, and I, once again, I think guides for something like that kind of defeat the purpose. Holy shit, dude. Oh god, please. Oh my god, I'm so weak! Dude, I'm so fucking weak. 
Uh, there's a shop there. Let me see if I can maneuver. Uh, all right, we're good. You want to put your mapping to the test? Try Willow on the NES. It's actually on my playlist. Probably like along in the future, but I've been looking at that. Honestly, Fancy Star 2's dungeons have been pretty, pretty hard CBT. But one game on the Genesis I've been meaning to stream sooner than later is Shining in the Darkness, which is just a dungeon crawler, you know? Like just one massive dungeon and then the town. I'm kind of curious. Uh, we're going to buy an extra ship just because we kind of have to to stay in the game. Which sucks. But that does mean... I'm not really sure what else we can do. Do a smart bomb or normal engine. Normal engine would give us speed. So we're just going to go with that one. I wonder if that will actually say permanent. I feel like it should. Alright, we got to watch out a little bit. Because now we're... Oh, God. Here we are. Alright, oh god, alright, and we're gonna stop by that shop again. Oh god. Please. Alright, take me to the shop. Okay. This game's kind of fucking stressful, you know? Wide beam, no, wide beam does the same amount of damage. Let's try the three-way shot. Because the wide beam, yeah, it's wide, but it does the same damage. Let's try the smart bomb, too. Yeah, let's try the smart bomb. Although it's only gonna last about two seconds, huh? Yeah, we have we have one smart bomb. Wow! Yeah, don't fucking spoil me, game. Seriously. Wow! <laughs> wow! That sucks. And Star does not give me jack shit to fuck with. Okay, well that sucks. So you actually want an engine upgrade primarily, because everything else seems to blow asshole. Alright, there we are. I like how my feet come out when I touch the ground. That's cute. Alright, please. Oh god, please. God. No! <laughs> Holy shit, please just die! Oh my god, can I just go there? No, I had to kill like everything. Is that enough? Is that enough, daddy? That's enough, daddy. Alright. Oh god. Alright. Oh shit! Ah, god, I just fucking crashed right into it. Man, son of a fucking bitch. All right, does it stay fucked up or no? Probably not. All right. I want to start from the top and work our way down if we can. No, no. <laughs> Is that a day labor? <laughs> I think it might be. Dios mío, señor. When I'm done working, take me back to Home Depot. Oh God. Please. Wow, that sucks. All right, we're gonna go like one more, one more hearty attempt, and then we're gonna <laughs> one but not forgotten. Oh God, please! Oh my God, oh my God. I don't know which one do you think is more hard? I, I mean, I think the second boss of the first game is pretty much fucking impossible in my view, unless you go into that fight with the weapon upgrade. But this one seems just more all-round difficult. If more possible. Like a more fair difficulty, you know what I mean? But damn, this is fucking grindy. Yeah, like if you are you had a Master System growing up, you would want R-Type, even though it's very, you know, heavy flicker. But obviously if you're going to play an R-Type, you'd want to play the TurboGrafx-16 one. Give 
me that. Give me that money. Alright. So let's take care of this fucker. And then we'll hop in that shop. Oh my god. Turbo Graphics had some unique games. Very underrated system. Yeah, I mean, Turbo Graphics is interesting. I feel like. Super Nintendo, and you know, if, I mean, I know Turbo Graphics came out while the NES was so big, but just in terms of 16-bit, uh, quote-unquote, consoles, um, I feel like Genesis and Super Nintendo had, they had their niche, right, but they also had more well-rounded games, like, in terms of, there's more genres to choose from. Turbo Graphic 16, it's like you better be very into side scrolling platformers and some fighting games if you have that six button controller. And shoot 'em ups. And if you don't like that shit, damn. Damn, bro. Uh, but it did have East 4, Dawn of East. Oh, yeah, I'll tell you what, man. Um, the East games, I've been very curious to try out on the Turbo Graphics. So that is true. Bonk was tons of fun. Yeah, I played a little bit of Bonk on the Virtual Console back in the uh, the Wii days. Let's see. Come on, 2022 is... Is Yachts. I have nowhere to go but up. <laughs> he needs another house to for close on. Alright, let's, uh, let's pick this shit up. So we can end this fucking music. Um, I think we want the normal engine. We've uh, covered that. And that's pretty much all we can get, but at least we can move. <laughs> Year of the Spoonie. Oh, what's going on with uh, Spoonie right now? Is he doing alright? I, you know, I'll be s s for real with you. I know Spoonie was kind of like a cunt. Especially towards his fan base toward the end of there. But I do, I do hope that motherfucker's doing wellish. I know that he's his own worst enemy, and I know that he... How to put it? If he just got off Twitter, I feel like he would solve so many of his problems. But he is fucking addicted to Twitter. Like no one I've... I mean, I can't say no one I've ever seen. I've seen a lot of real cunty leftoids uh, obsessed with Twitter. But... Spoonie is one of them. He's very addicted to Twitter. And it's kind of like a shame, because if he just... Oh shit, oh god, okay, we gotta be very careful here with the speed upgrade. Wow. I guess not, not so much, huh? That actually makes it harder. Uh, now he lives with his parents. Um, Spoonie's gonna off himself soon. Yeah, like, I, I, I really do hope Spoonie does uh, better for himself, man. I, I think that if he just got off Twitter, he'd be a lot better off. Like, mentally, you know? I feel like... Tweeting that many times a day, he just needs to, uh, he just needs to chill with social media, you know? Which, don't get me wrong, everyone nowadays uses social media, but you gotta, like, fucking ration that shit, especially if you're the type that's easily, I don't know, it's like obsessive? I, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? Very compulsive. If you're like a compulsive, emotional motherfucker, you need to extra be wary of social media because that shit'll fuck your life up, dude. Yeah, you'll fuck up uh, personal relationships, and then you're just constantly exposed to uh, negativity. And shit, I try to avoid negativity, honestly. I, uh, I did my time. Oh, God. Um, autistic... <laughs> autistic man-child is the term you're looking for. That doesn't work. Uh, normally, it's women who are addicted to Twitter. Yeah, it's... It's crazy, though. There are, like, those... Uh, like, like you know, white knights. I don't know how else to put it. White knights. Betas. The ones that feel like they have to make that public declaration on every single statement so that way everyone can judge them as a good person. You know what I mean? They're 
overly concerned with their public appearance, the uh, the mask we put on for the world, and it's it's fucking toxic. Some people need to really reassess that shit. Anyway, I know we're only an hour and ten in, but this is all I've been really wanting to do. This is play through this briefly. Because I am tired. It has been a very fucking long day, and I have to wake up balls early for work. But, tomorrow, mid-afternoon-ish, Eastern Time, we are going to be doing some... Oh shit, there's a fucking story here. Uh, Courage Dope Opa, Annihilated, Everyone, Restoring Peace to Fantasy Zone. Now ten years have passed, and the Fantasy Zone has expanded its domain several fold. Crisis is unfolding, uh, deep in contemplation. I think Opa Opa is like a living being, I think. Uh, wondering who was the mastermind behind their leader. Yada yada. Okay, he's looking for his dad, alright. So we know he's not white. Now history is repeating itself, and the planets that make up the fantasy zone, once again, find themselves being victimized by the mastermind of the Ninon planet. Nice. Uh, construct a huge fort or series into the fantasy zone. Alright, interesting. Whatever. Um, let's see. Barring nostalgia you never had, just play 1 and 2 Chronicles Plus. East 1 and 2 Chronicles Plus on PC. Best version of 3 is the remake Oath in Felgana, though, if I recall correctly, TurboGrafx is one of the better ports of 3 and the best. East 4 is Dawn of East. Well, that's what I was looking at. I was looking at, I think, 5 and onward. I was going to play those on Steam. But the first four East games, I was going to play on TurboGrafx CD because it has that really goofy Kino music. So that, that was my plan for East. Because I do really like the TurboGrafx CD and Sega CD music because it's so good. It is the highlight of those systems, is the fucking music and the soundtracks. Uh, uh, 5 doesn't exist, Neon ignores its existence. I thought I saw it on... I thought I saw 5 being offered on Steam. Maybe, maybe I'm confused, maybe I'm wrong. Um, but anyway, tomorrow I'm gonna fuck around with Fantasy Star 2. We're gonna go back to that. Probably mid-afternoon-ish, gonna do a nice good 2-3 to three hour stream of that. We are right at the bioweapons lab, so I'm guessing like maybe maybe like a fifth through the game. But anyway, let me uh, read this real quick. Um, it's the only game that has not been remade to work with the post arc of Nexus timeline. I got you. I got you. But anyway, this was Fantasy Zone One and Two. Uh, I can't really say it was that great. Once again, if you're playing an older shoot 'em up space shooter, whatever the fuck you want to call it, I think I think you could do really, really well with R type. Go for that. Anyway, thanks again, everyone. I'm gonna be peacing out, but we're gonna raid video game player. Anyway, if you're watching this on YouTube in the future, make sure to follow me on Twitch to watch me live, man. Anyway, peace out.